What is up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2024 Bowman Baseball Hobby Doubleheader Dual Caser. Numero 4, number 4, guys. Number all card ship. And then it's two hobby cases, so one autograph per hobby box. Look for two Lunar Glow parallels per box. A little mini Diamonds Refractor parallel per box. Of course, everything is on average. But thanks to everybody here that bought in, guys. Pascal got last by Mojo Angels. So, boom, sold it out. Uh, remember guys sit back and relax guys. This is gonna take a little bit, you know, just being solo here But it's gonna be fun guys. It'll definitely be worth it now I don't know if we have enough to do another double header. I will double check later during my lunch break If we do I'll post another one up if we don't well, we definitely still have jumbo cases, so If you guys want to do more jumbo Sell out the one that's on the website and we can post more I'm gonna rip six boxes at a time, guys. So we'll go through the six, and I'll go with the next six, and then we'll have another case to go with, guys. So I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as I can, of course, without 
you know, making it look so sloppy, obviously. But I'll try to fly through as much paper and stuff like that as I can and just stop for the numbered cards, autographs, etc. I said, I think I've been catching most of the paper base chromes of the of our top load list. But again, obviously, like I said, you know, our shipping and sorting team is A1, I feel like best in the game. So they they know when it comes to Bowman and Tops, Chrome and all that stuff where when we have multiple players in a top load list. They know to definitely double check it for us in case we miss. Because if we're going to miss anything, guys, it's just really going to be paper based. Maybe some chromes. So, before they bag it up and ship it out, they'll double check them. Especially since they've already sorted it out by team. So, they'll be like, alright, I'm going to check the Yankee stack and see if there's any Greg Lombard that they may have missed, you know. And then I'm going to see if there's any Walker Jenkins. So, it's a little bit easier for them to catch it than us. Because, you know, we don't want this two-hour break to be a three-hour break. One more box, guys, and then we'll go through the first six.
All right. Here we go. We'll go from left to right for the first stack, and then we'll go the next stack here, guys. Here we go. And Tavion Josenberger, refractor autograph to four ninety nine to start us off for the for the uh, Baltimore Orioles. Lunar, Tyshawn Walker, or Walton. And then we got a uh, Jake or Jack Hurley to two fifty. Rock Regio to two fifty. Everson Pereira to one eighty nine. Guanipa. Next box here, guys. Going into box uh, two. Clifford. It's over.
Alright, next half here, guys. Should have the auto right here somewhere. Yo, Andre Morales to 125. And nice George Lombard Jr. for the Yankees. I thought like this is my first time pulling his autograph. That's for the Yanks and Mark. Nice, Kyle Teal. Refracted to 499. Nice, we're getting some good names now. Todd with that one. And how about a little Henry Davis anime? Brian with the Pirates. Very nice, man. Brock Walken, Jesus, what a great box. Little Lunar. Naylor. Roman Anthony. Maya.
Sophia. Alright guys, halfway through we got three more boxes over here. And we'll go with the second half of the case. Tishon Walton. And nice, Yohandi Morales, paper to 199. Matthew with Washington. Morgan Jenkins. Alan Castro to 25 Orange Shimmer. And we got Jeffrey Rosa. For the Mets. What about? All right, here we go, guys. Next two boxes here. Right in my hand.
Tommy Troy to four ninety nine. Eric Bautista. And Yohandri Morales. We're getting a lot of Yohandri Morales colors here. Teal to 50 gold. Damn, that's two Kyle Teals. This case has been very nice, guys. Boston going to Todd. And a Gladiators, Evan Carter. Uh, that's Rangers EA. Xavier Isaac. Francisco Lindor to 299. Ooh, what is that gold? Wow. I want a gold Ellie de la Cruz. One out of 50. For the Reds going to Jeremy Carson. Sweet. Yeah, we've only done like half the case too, so the fact is that we've already seen some really, really nice stuff in just six boxes. Still a long way to go, guys. <laughs> I still have to do this half and then another full case. So... 
sit back and relax. Alright guys, well look at just the first six. Color Morales, right? Color Morales, Ellie Gold, Welkin Lunar, right? Teal, Anime, Lombard, Morales Color, Josenberger, Teal Gold, Gladiators. Not too shabby, right? Sweet. Alright, take a little sip. My refresher. Let's go with the next six. Yeah, I'm at the 30 minute mark of my, my time break, so it takes me about 10 minutes to rip the six boxes, and then it takes me about 20 minutes to go through the card, so it's definitely is gonna take two hours. So to be honest, I might actually be done a little closer to 8 instead of 7.45. Maybe be like 7.50, 7.55. So. But don't worry, guys. Like I said, this is the only really, really big time-consuming break, and I'm glad we got it done now. You know, either that or I'd rather have got it done at 9, so that way it's the last thing we do. But now when we got this done, I mean sell all their breaks and then we can still do them and if you guys want to break late night and keep me late night show me just by grabbing some spots and breaks I mean I got four orders in here looks like the kapoom chase is just flying right now yeah it looks like we probably sold like another ten spots so crown royale now down to seven so I'd like to see guys let's do that next one tonight too Dude, Josh Hart has like almost 20 rebounds. It's ridiculous.
See you later. See you later, man.
All right, last box here, guys, and we'll go through the six, and then we'll be done with the first case. All right, 226 left, 102, 102. Can the Knicks pull out a game three win and be up 3-0? Turnover. Nick Gonzalez rookie autograph there to four ninety nine for the Pirates. It's going to Brian. Carlos Sanchez Lunar. Alberto Rios to 150 for the Angels. Jazz Chisholm to 125. Boba Shat. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, my God. Man, this game is nuts, bro. This game is wild. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry guys, this game is so entertaining right now. Another rebound, offensive rebound. Montez. Oh, <laughs> that part, man. Well, that's it. Also, this Dylan Cruz is a little jacked up in the corner, unfortunately.
What a crazy game. Enrique Jimenez, Cruz, Arnie Hernandez, And we got Encarnacion Strand, orange paper to 25. And an orange, Anthony Solmetto, top 100, number 58, orange for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I did Drake to two fifty. Ryan Burroughs. Horrible autograph there. But autograph there for the White Sox, EA. And Weisenhunt to 199. And we got a Calvin Hidalgo to 299 speckle for the Colorado Rockies. That is going to John.
We got Ryan Clifford at 499. Go three more boxes here in the first case, and then we're done with the first case. And an orange, Anthony Baptist for the Mets. It's going to Bob Campbell. And I feel like this case has had a lot of nice color here. Nice Dylan Cruz, little lunar. Again, even the inserts have been nice too. Bob to 50 paper for the White Sox. And Susek. Verdia. Spencer Jones, that one said two ninety nine. Elijah Green. Hey, I don't think that one had an autograph. Did I skip? Did I miss it? Lombard though, but 
I don't think this one had an auto. I'll double check it again, guys. I think that happened to Joe, I think, I feel like, in one of the breaks. It's another Lombard. It did have an auto? Which one was it? Unless I just... Oh, you know what it did, actually. I think I did have 10 autos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe I just... Maybe I just skipped it. Maybe I didn't realize it and I just put it over there. Oh, gotcha. Well, then either this... Maybe this one did have one. I just didn't realize it until now, but... We do have 10 autographs here, though. So I guess maybe I just blanked out for a second and didn't realize I already called it. All right, well, we do have 10 autos, so maybe there was. I think I was blanking out right now for a second. I didn't realize I might have called it already. Yes, but there is 10 autos here. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, forget it. So either one box had two and then this one had none, or like I said, I just missed it and I blanked out and didn't realize I said it already. Two more here, guys. Two more. Jermaine Ramirez. Spencer Jones to 125. And Ortiz for the Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers that's going to EA. Chop out lady.
All right, last box here, the first case, guys. Right at the hour mark. Andrew Morales, man, I'm telling you a lot of good little colors of that guy, man. I think you might have to just start going for the rainbow, Matt. Alvarez. Autograph's gonna be right here, guys. Here we go. Nice Brian Acuna to 75. Minnesota Twins going to Mark. Dylan Cruz. And John Cruz for the Yankees. Go to Mark. Tony Blanco to 150. We did it guys, one case. Let's go to the second one now guys. Again, we got all this right here. Twelve autos, a lot of nice colors. Anime. Let's see what else is gonna be hiding in the next case. So again, guys, um, you know, obviously refer to the break schedule. Um, you know, might get pushed back just a little bit, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. But, uh, like I said, we only have one break sold out to my knowledge. And then, uh, yeah, the Kaboom Chase now down to 19. Flawless fillers at 13. They're very nice. Ah, sweet. Okay. So, yeah, keep it going, guys. Seems like a lot of people are... Basically, all my orders here, guys, for the most part, have been um, at Crown Royale. So, definitely still want to get that done uh, tonight. Because if we don't find this Kaboom in this case, or in this three-box break, then that means it's going to be in the last one.
Dodgers, I think, are playing against. Dodgers, I think, are playing against the uh, Padres today, right? Yeah, I think so too, Brian. I mean, no team has come back from 3 0 deficit in basketball. Now, Denver could definitely be one of them too, but if they. It, it also depends on how they lost today. If they lost a really, really close game, like. Not like the last one, they got blown out, then yeah. But. Yeah, no team in the NBA. I've never come back down from the three old deficit. Only it's only happened in um, in hockey a couple times, and I think baseball like once. I want to say. So yeah, I mean for Denver to get back into the series, they need a they need a win today. And so far, I mean they're playing pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of switch it back and forth. Thunder Mavs game tomorrow, Brian, is super early tomorrow. It's like at 12.30 in our time here. So I might have to watch either the first half at home or come to the shop a little earlier so I can enjoy, like, the third, fourth quarter without having to miss it. It is at 12.30 Pacific, 3.30 Eastern. So if you're in Texas, what is it, Central Time? So that's like 2.30? Are you guys Central Time? I don't remember what time zone you guys are in.
Yeah, 2.30 your time, 12.30 my time. So, I'd rather miss a little bit of the first half driving over here than miss the second half. So I might to, so I might come to the shop like around maybe 1 30, 2 o'clock. So maybe just kind of drive at the end of the first quarter so that way I can miss the second quarter and a little bit of halftime and then hopefully be here for the third and fourth. Because if not, I'm going to just text Nick, uh, running a little late, a little traffic. Because I stayed home and just watched the rest of the game. I mean, it should be over closer to three, so. I figure if I just get here a little earlier, I can still start the stream and just slowly go through some orders and stuff. It should be over around that time. Yes, I am definitely taking my break after this just because I'm not going to be able to take it. I don't want to take it like at 9 or 10 o'clock either. So, yeah, after this, I'm taking a break. And then on the schedule, we have just that random hip break that sold out. And then it seems like now Crown Royale sold out. So I'll do the Crown Royale after that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, yeah, it's going to be the first thing I do when I get back, so... gonna be a little late for you a little bit but it'll definitely happen yeah, I usually like to take it around seven I feel like seven is a perfect time because it's kind of like the transition period where here on the West Coast, people are probably home by now. If they got out of work like at 5, 6 and commute. East Coasters, if they went out, you know, they're getting usually back home around like 10 ish, 10, 11. So around 6.45, 7, I always feel like it's a good time to take a little break. So that way, if stuff's moving, it can continue to move by the time I get back. box here and then we'll go through the six When is his first start? I know he got called up. When is he planning to start? Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of Johanny Morales, man. I feel like Cruz has to be the guy. Oh, tomorrow. Damn, okay. Tomorrow will be a big sports day, then. Rex's Cubs? I wonder what Rex is going to say. If they go off on the Cubs, if he goes off on the Cubs, probably just say lucky. Just, just, we're just not good. 
Now, if the Cubs go off on him, he's going to say, that's right, Rook. Welcome to the MLB. <laughs> All right, here we go. Encarnacion Strand to 125. <laughs> And wow, look at that. Gold Shimmer Luis Bias to 50. Houston. Mark. Grudkowski. There you go, man. I will say, man, the hobby has been delivering. And how about a Trout anime? Last spot mojo. Pascal. There you go, man. I feel like the boxes that have the anime has been pretty good. First box in the books. And Manny Machado to 15. Padres. Want to hurry on Daniel. And did Tori to four ninety nine? I won't skip that. And Ryan Lasco for the Oakland A's. That's going to Ben.
Third box here, guys. Uh, more about 175. And at the top 100, Edwin Arroyo to 125, number 40. Color there for the um, Cincinnati Reds. Carson Rucker. Welkin. Damn. The start to this case has been pretty wild. Baez, gold, and now an orange. Dino with the Brewers. Man. There you go. Was the uh, 18th overall pick. has been delivering. Do we have a hot case? Do we have a hot case? Alright, three more boxes here, guys. I feel like if, if there's going to be any case we're going to hit the cruise, it's going to be this one right here. Let's go. Let's get it. I've hit reds already. I've hit gold. I've hit orange. I just need a super now. Rio. Nishida for the White Sox. White Sox is EA. And we got Brooks Brannon to 150. 
Jackson Merrill. We got a paper Jose Rodriguez to four ninety nine. Taylor to uh, Andy Morales color. You're getting so much color of this dude, I swear. I mean, still better than nothing for the Nationals, but man, give us more crews, bro. Jeez. And a gold Jet Williams, top 100, number 55 for the Mets. All right, Denver is rolling right now, guys. Jamal Murray has definitely awakened. 42-25, they are up. I didn't think Denver was going to go out without a fight, honestly. Denver is just too talented. Even though that last game they kind of got embarrassed and killed, they just missed a ton of shots, really. They were frustrated. Things weren't going their way. But they're the reigning champs, dude. They, they know adversity. But let's see if that Minnesota team can come back. Second half here. And Jared Dickey to four ninety nine for the Royals. KC going to Inku. Aiden Smith to 250. Alright, last box here, guys, and we'll go with the next six. Justin Crawford to 199. Morales. 
Shimmer, Augustine Ramirez. Now we got more Dan for the uh, Orioles going to Aaron's. All right, six boxes left, guys. I'm just going to stretch my legs a little bit. Ugh. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Ugh. That felt great. Alrighty guys, here we go. Last six. <laughs> I'm about to be. It's my last six. Right? Dude, these hobby boxes are nuts, bro. Really? 
been so much yeah. great shit. No, but a lot of other big players though. Ooh, this I even got a teal auto. Oh, teal. They're talking about the trailer. Yeah, no, the autograph. And two of them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Hobby actually has been better color. But yeah, I'm hoping for a two, but I don't know. Case has already been too good. for these last hour and 40 minutes I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching we're almost there guys I know not every team has gotten something but I feel like so far first case was very solid this case has also been very solid so you know hopefully we ended off strong here it's been a lot of nice stuff Eric Welkin Orange to 25 autograph, teal gold to 50, bias, Houston Astros gold to 50, you got an anime of uh, trout, there's been a lot of nice stuff so far, I'll do a recap at the end though man, I don't want to finish this, it's going to take two hours so, there's been a lot of very nice stuff in this. good though man we had time today that's the good thing it's not like we we're running out of time it was sold out early enough where it wasn't really gonna kill any it wasn't really gonna kill that much momentum Also, too, guys, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but Nick is giving away five free spots in the Otani Mixer filler tonight only and six free spots in the Flawless filler tonight only. Now, if both of those sell out, guys, which I think the Otani one did, all we need to do is one more filler, and we'll give away another five spots tonight only and just sell the, the four spots that are there outright, guys. And that's it. We can break the Otani Mixer tonight. Same thing with Flawless. If we can sell the remaining five teams outright, we sell out that filler. I only have to post one more, and I'll give away another six spots in that. And that Flawless can also break tonight. So if you guys want to have a great Friday night, tonight is the night. Sell those fillers out, and we can get the next ones rolling. When I go, when I finish this right now, though, guys, I'll, I'll upload the next filler, number three. Obviously, number two in that, it's not going to break a little bit later tonight after my break, but like I said, obviously, still continue to buy spots. So, we can end ourselves, we can end tonight with some banging breaks tonight.
Also, too, guys, for people that are watching this, Bowman, um, you know, just know our sorters and shippers are working really hard to try to get this out in a quick, timely manner, guys. But obviously, you know, some of these double headers is a lot of cards. Same thing with the jumbo. So we're gonna try our best to get it out really quick. I do, I do want to say though that we were be, we were able to sort out double header one and jumbo one on Wednesday night to get it out yesterday. So in this latest shipment that you see in the Google Docs shipping tab. It will have a couple breaks from Wednesday. It'll also have like Immaculate from Wednesday, those mini hockey mixes from Wednesday, the HTA. Um, but the remainder double headers and jumbos obviously won't be out until the next shipment. But I believe we're going to try to sort out like three each at a time. Boom, ship it out. So obviously, you know, keep updated with that shipping tab. But we're going to try our very best to get this out as quickly as possible. But just know this is obviously not like a quick Immaculate break. You know, it's going to take some time to sort through it, make sure we don't miss anything, and then bag it up, ship it out. But like I said, take, keep track with that shipping tab. Like I said, they're going to work real hard to get this out as quickly as possible. Yeah, good thing is that they caught up on Wednesday enough where they can just sort out some Wednesday breaks too. Appreciate it, Brian. Yeah, man. I mean, most of our shorter shippers that are here with us have been here for years already with us. That's the good thing. We did lose one of them recently a few months back. Just because, you know, he wanted to do something else. Which is all good, so. We got like one less, but still managing. But this Bowman time is always a little bit difficult because just so many cards, you know. But yeah. Here we go, guys. Last six. But we know how crucial it is for some people. Because I know there's a lot of people that buy into Bowman to flip. So we know we try to get it out as quickly as possible. Carlos Sanchez. Diego Benitez to 399. Atlanta running EA. Roman Anthony. Jackson Chirillo. Cespedes to uh, 499. No, no relation to the Cespedes brothers. Maybe not. But born in 2005, so still 19 years old.
Jackson Merrill to 250. What's up, Logan? Nick Gonzalez at two ninety nine for the Pirates. It's going to Brian. Kendall George to two ninety nine. Oh yes, Brian Heyman did win that case. He's actually local, I wonder if he can pick that up. That'd be fun, good, re good reason to come down to the shop. All right, second half of the, first, of the second box. Anthony Shaw. That's like a black. Looks awesome. Last Bob Mojo Pascal. Looks sweet. Ismail Valencia for the Houston Astros. That's going to uh, Mark. sad man that sucks yeah dude it sucks man I recently I recently had a friend too that had a had a dog for man I don't even know like 10 plus years and it just wasn't really feeling well and then it turned out that uh had like this terminal cancer that nothing was gonna change so I had to put him down it's so sad man I hate that I grew up with one dog myself, too. I grew up with a boxer when I was a kid. And uh, lived to be like 14, 15 years old, man. But we had to put it down at one point when I was a teenager because it was just... It looked like it had like a couple strokes already. Which I guess were common with boxers, but... Yeah, it's always tough. Lombard Jr. Cole Young. 
But, I mean, was that just it, though, Logan? Like, did were they able to, like, get it off and, you know, hopefully, like, it didn't, like, it, was, it wasn't going to be further damage or anything like that, or? I'm reading that you said it was removed, right? Two ninety nine. <clears throat> Second half here. And Anthony Huso. Houston's having a great break. ACL surgery. Gotcha, Logan. That makes sense. Yeah. You have a you have a bulldog, Brian. Man, you know, honestly, that's always. I think I'll eventually get one, man. But I've always wanted a bulldog. I mean, obviously, I know that's expensive, but since you actually have one, Brian, we, tell me. Is it expensive, like, just to have one, though? Like, I know there's always a little couple... I know there's, like, health problems to it, you know, obviously. Um, <laughs> they're, like, not in the best shape, but... I don't know. I love those dogs, man. I always have. Um, I I still want to get one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love French Bulldogs, too, but I think I like, I like, the, like the original one, like the American... Oh, wait, am I confusing? Wait, hold on. Is there American Bulldogs and is there English Bulldogs? Which ones are the American ones? Wait, maybe I'm confusing that. I want an English Bulldog. Is American the same or just a little different? Oh, no, you have a Bully Bully. Oh, sorry, that's a different dog. <laughs> My bad. I know which one's yours is now. I was gonna get confused. I want a, um, I want one of those English bulldogs, the big, big chubby ones. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, yeah, I mean, the life expectancy for dogs is gonna be a lot shorter for us. Um, although I did have, when I, when I was a baby, baby, I, I still remember this, but we, we actually had a German Shepherd too. Um, that one actually lived to be like 15, 16 too, actually. Um, the only, the only dogs that we've had kind of like trouble with and not to say trouble with, but my dad, you know, before he passed, you know, he, the last like 10 years, basically he, he, um, he, um, he got into more smaller dogs, obviously, so he liked... He, he was going to get a French Bulldog, um, but then decided to go to Schnauzer, which actually I liked. You know, don't shed hair. The life expectancy is supposed to be, like, you know, really high. Obviously, if everything goes okay, you know, 15 to 20. Very energetic, you know. So, that my dad just liked it because it could be, like, an inside dog, so... But the first couple Schnauzers we got, man, just freak accidents, dude. Freak accidents and, like... All passing away within two years, dude. Like, very sad, man. Like, and you know, my sister now actually has one, and she just celebrated her like second or third birthday. I think third actually. But like, it was just crazy, dude. Like, it was just wild, man. Kyle Tucker. And, yeah, I mean, I don't want to speak further into it, but, like, yeah, some really freak shit, though. Like, you know, stuff that, like, you'd be like, what? Like, you know. And uh, it just sucked, dude. Woo. P. Crow Armstrong. Remember, these are one in every few cases. 
Yeah, I know, I know. Germans, yeah, German Shepherds, I, for the most part, you can live pretty long, but my thing is that, yeah, like, if you don't take them frequently or you never get to see, they, they can live with so many problems without even knowing it. <laughs> my grandma, uh, my mom's side, uh, miss her, actually, but, uh, she, she was into Chihuahuas, <laughs> obviously, uh, so, like, she loved the Chihuahuas from, like, the Taco Bell commercials, so she had a Chihuahua for, like, at least 15 years, and actually outlived her when she passed away. She passed, my, my grandma passed away uh, back in 2018. She was, like, literally, like, 98 almost. And um, she fed that dog like a human. Like, and I mean human, whatever she ate, the dog ate. So, very unhealthy, <laughs> but she lived, for, she lived for a very long time, man. She had, she had all these problems, though, bro. She had, like, diabetes, arthritis, all these things. But, man, magically, dude, that dog lived forever. I mean, longer than we thought it ever did would. She'd be eating soup. Eat, she'd eat some soup. She ate a little burger. She ate some burgers. Not to say she didn't feed her reg regular food, but she she ate a lot of human food. But like I said, it lived for a very long time. I mean, it just all depends. Cooper Pratt at two ninety nine. All right, guys, down to the final two and a half boxes here. And we got J.D. Gonzalez. Padres going on, uh, Daniel. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah, me and my wife have been talking recently to get a puppy of some type, but she wants like a full ass grown dog. And I live in a, an apartment complex, which dogs are allowed, but I can't have a huge ass dog like that. I just feel like I'm just not letting it live to its full potential. You know, if I if I live back home with my parents on my mom's house, you know, where she has a front yard, backyard, that'd be great. But I was like, we need to get a small dog for now. So then she's thinking of getting a cat because she likes cats too. Although I don't think she really wants one, although she says she does. She wants the cats without the, like, litter scents and all that stuff. I mean, obviously, um, she likes that cats are just, like, self, have self-care where we don't even have to worry about them much. Own personalities, they do what they do. Low maintenance. But... I don't know yet. Cheers. Yeah, I also like Golden Doodles, too. I think Michael actually has a Golden Doodle. But man, sometimes those dogs are super expensive. Wow, another Kyle Teal. That's three in the two cases. Man, this, this case has been pretty solid. Red Sox, Todd is having a break, man. And a Gladiator's Evan Carter. That's the second one. One in the last case, one in this case, and it's the same one again. EA with another one.
Jacob Wilson at 125. All right, guys, we finally made it down to the last box. I actually went over a little bit, 208, but appreciate you guys. This this break is always tough solo. I think with help, when I did Michael's and Michael helped me on release day, I think we did it in like an hour 50, hour and 45, so it's about like 15 minutes less of packing, of a ripping pack, so not the craziest time difference, but for sure give myself like two hours. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what else we can find here in this last box. Marco Luciano to four ninety nine paper. And how about a Drew Jones number to one twenty five? That's nice one there for Arizona. Going to Chi. Yeah, I, I love French. I love I love French. I love Frenchies too. I just my thing is just like I know, I know they're not like I guess people say not not meant to be kind of like bread. Sometimes have a lot of bad health problems, and uh, you know sometimes I mean you just kind of have to. I mean my 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 one of my cousins actually breeds French bulldogs, and man, he makes great money. But there's always complications with that. He always says how like some of them just don't make it they pass away you know within weeks and months or have these crazy health problems so it's like always like hey well if something happens in the first x amount you know we can have another deal for another one which sucks obviously but it's like i know they always have a lot of complications i feel like people say and i guess they're not meant to be bred i don't know but i mean they look awesome though obviously my cousins have some but i try to feel like i kind of want to stick to like an american uh english bulldog kind of deal English Bulldog would be like great for me. <laughs> but then again, obviously, like, obviously, you know, with any. Ooh. Well, no Cruise Auto yet, but 57 out of 199 Cruise Color. But, um. So there you go, Matthew. But like I said, I mean, and then, like I said, you know, the life expectancy on English Bulldogs are very, like, low so i mean it just sucks because obviously you're gonna love it to death but i mean obviously anything can happen but it just sucks when knowing that time is like ticking a lot faster than other other types of dogs i guess <laughs> my uh, my cousin has a great one of my cousins has a great day now no <laughs> and a ronnie hernandez to end us off there for the white Sox. actually my cousin carlitos that actually has a great dane also has a French Bulldog. And they have a cat. How about that? All mixing those uh, animals together. It's wild. Alrighty, guys. Well... Another dual caser with no cruise, but we ended up getting that cruise color. I'll do a quick recap right now of the hits, guys. And uh, that's it, guys. We are done, though. We did it. Like I mentioned before, I don't know if uh, we are going to have more of, um, more of this. But, like I said, um look out for it we do have still still have jumbo so that's the good thing
Yeah. So here's just the main stuff, guys. So a lot of Morales colors, which is great. They got that Ellie Gold insert, which was nice. Welkin, Lunar, uh, Henry Davis um, anime. There's another Morales there. Gladiators, Evan Carter, Cruz, Lunar, uh, Trout, anime, Morales. Out of 10 show, which is really nice. Uh, we got the Pete Crow Armstrong for the Cubs going to Charles there. Lombard color, another Gladiators there. Evan Carter. And we got the Cruz color there. And then here are the autographs here, guys. Cespedes, Valencia, Gonzalez, Hernandez, Nick Gonzalez, rookie autograph, Burroughs, Hidalgo, Josenberger, Bautista, Rosa, Ortiz, Cruz, Lasco, Nishida, Mordan, Dickey, Huso, Baptist. And then after this, guys, we kind of got some bigger names. So, like, a, just the base Lombard, but a nice Lombard there. Bias to 50 is a nice one. Three teals, guys. One refractor. One speckle, one gold, and then we have a Brock Walken orange shimmer to 25, guys. So, very, very nice stuff here, I feel like. Um, and like I said, you know, I don't know if we'll have any more double headers for the time being. I'll double check, though, during my lunch break, but now we definitely still have Jumbo, guys. So, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.